Hey everybody, just a quick update as far as uh, where we are with the new um, navigation piece. Uh, I know some of you have seen our, some of the videos already in screenshots. Just wanted to give you a quick um, a quick view of what's going on right now. So um, you've probably already seen most of this with um, styles and scripts, so I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick walkthrough. Uh, the, this property grid is contextual, so depending on what type of entity we're loading, whether it's um, scripts or styles, uh, we're going to see specific um, metadata that we're actually storing for that. Uh, the same thing will apply within here within builders. So when I load a builder, it um, should look fairly similar to what we currently already have, um, just some slight modifications. Uh, again, um, the bigger thing is just trying to um, showcase just how things are how things are loaded. Uh, one quick note here is that this is using multiple um, uh, route views. So this is route view and this is route view as well. As well as um, this is now using CSS3 grid as well as Flexbox um, combined together to kind of give the best um, uh, layout with the least amount of CSS. So. Uh, that was navigation, or that was translation, it's not entity. Just to kind of give you an idea, here are the entities when we define them. And then the final one is the template to, template builder. Um, I think uh, we'll do a, a phone card. And again, um, just so you can see how, how things work, um, it's easy just to kind of quick a preview uh, what your templates look like and stuff like that. Um, but um, so I'm, I'm now to the point of dealing with projects and um, screens and getting the designer set up. And so a couple of the questions that I wanted to present to you guys. Um, number one is the first question would be in both of these actually have their own router views, but um, this router view, um, I was thinking about using the exact same uh, busy indicator, that blue kind of circle that I have in the original version and just wanted to get some of your feedback if that looks good or um, to use something else. I'm not a big fan of what I currently have so I'm, I welcome any um, UX um, suggestions as far as what we can do to make that better. So that's the first question. Uh, the second question is projects. Um, previously if you remember projects you kind of had it like this and then we had projects um, individual here where you just expand and collapse and you can see what you have. Um, here in this one, when I want to do projects, I was thinking more of doing a tree view where you would have a top um, top level, which would be the project name that you could define here, as well as um, screens. So all the screens would be under here as well. Um, the question I have is, do I have a load button for both top and um, screens? And then the metadata for the project would show up here. Um, like we see if we do this as a pop-up, but instead of a pop-up, it actually be in line, just like the same paradigm we have here. Um, so that's question number one. And if that if that does make sense, uh, I'd love to just you know get some feedback as far as what you think would be the easiest or the nicest workflow as far as managing two different levels, um, contextual levels, either at the project level or at the screen level that we'll have in the future. Um, and then <clears throat> likewise with the screen, um, screens are a little bit more complicated in that um, there's multiple there's multiple tabs, not only for the um, screen itself, you have the settings, you have um, the property grid, but then you also have um, other stuff that's embedded in the screen. And I wasn't sure if I should leave that kind of native as it is and um, make, make it organic or get feedback from you guys as we go how that can be better because I know that the um, the designer screen is very busy right now. So um, any thoughts or concerns that you would have with that, um, I welcome as well. And then the final question that I had here, um, let me um, open something just so that we can get a good idea of what I'm talking about. So if I load this, <coughs> you notice that we now switch from um, the builder list of all the builders and the tree view and now we're actually loading um, an individual record. Um, um, this is actually an individual record as a template, and you can actually see the screen and how it looks like. Um, I have been thinking about having a back button here um, so that you could go back to that list instead of clicking here and, and then remembering where you were. However, if I do um, that back button, um, because I'm doing using the routers and each one of these are different router views, do 
do I keep open this thing that's open from the previous state? And you know, what what are your thoughts and concerns about that? So if, if I were to click back, um, would this part here only change, or you know, what what do you guys think would be the best uh, workflow and, and uh, paradigm for the user or the developer, you know, as they're playing with this, just to make sure that uh, it truly makes sense to them. So um, those are kind of the only things that I really wanted to ask. I don't want to uh, make this longer than it needs to be, but um, just thought I would show you guys this and kind of some of my thoughts and um, ideas of where we're at. All right, look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.